Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to take your body measurements. Body measurements is a very important predictor as good as when you're going to weigh yourself on the scale or when you're going to take your body composition on the body composition machine. Weighing yourself on the scale might not be the only choice or the only predictor of whether you're losing weight or achieving your weight loss goal. A lot of times you might be putting on uh, more muscles and might be losing fat which not might be just demonstrated on the weighing scale. So if you don't have a body composition machine, taking your measurements would be the next best thing to be done so that it will help you to understand whether you are achieving your milestones pretty well. So let's get started with taking the body measurements. For this I am going to use an inch tape. This is easily available anywhere in the market. With me is Sonali on whom I am going to show the measurements. So let's get started. Now we start with the neck portion first. So you'll take it at the center of the neck. Don't hold it too tight, not too loose, just about so that it is there is a comfort. So first we take the neck measurement. Then we take the next is the bust measurement. Just see that the tape is uh, really well adjusted. And on the biggest round of the bust, we will be taking the bust measurement. Again, not too tight and not too loose, just about it so that she feels comfortable. Now we move on to the waist measurement. Waist measurement is often taken wrong at the lower part of the waist that is here. But that is not where we count as the waist. This portion, which is the narrowest part of the rib cage, is taken for your measurements of waist. This is how you take the waist measurement. Then we move on to the abdominal girth. This is exactly taken on the belly button. Then we move on to the hip. So you adjust your tape properly. And on the widest part of the hip, you will take the measurement. And we will take it at the side. So this is the part where you will take the measurement. See that the tape is really adjusted straight and not up and down. You will get a wrong measurement. Then we move on to the measurement of the arms. So you can take any arm or you could measure each arm to exactly know if you want to know what is the difference between the two. So first we will start with the upper portion of the arm. This is taken, if this is the upper portion of the arm, you take it right in the center. So you, this will be the portion of the arm where you take the measurement. This is the upper arm measurement. Then we take the mid arm measurement, the same thing, it is in between the mid arm that is somewhere over here. And then we take the measurement of the wrist. This is how we take the measurement of the upper part of the body. And now we'll take the measurement of the thigh. So I'm going to choose the middle portion. So if this is the thigh portion, I'm going to choose the middle portion of it. This will be the part where you will take the measurement for the thighs. Then we'll move on to the calf measurements. It will be in the middle uh, level of the lower uh, limb. So this will be where you will take the calf measurements. Taking the right measurements is very very important to determine the success of your progress. How you do it is you measure yourself at day zero when you are going to start with a weight loss program. And then keep on measuring yourself after every 15 days. Do not keep on doing the measurements now and then because it might just not give you a result. Doing it every 15 days will be very helpful for you. So do keep on taking your measurements, especially when you don't have your body composition machines and then you'll be happy to see your progress at the end of the program.